In this video, we're going to cover some best practices for when and how to create branches in Abstract. Designers often start work assignments by documenting questions, ideas, observations, and assumptions before actually jumping into Sketch. In the design process, this is the discovery and definition half of the double diamond. With Abstract in the mix, it's no different. Design work still starts before you jump into a file. Here are a few things you might consider before branching. What is the context for this design work? What's the intent or the desired outcome of the work you'll be doing? How much effort do you think it might take to get this assignment done? And what type of work will you be doing? Will you be exploring some new ideas, working on a new feature or updating an existing feature, maybe redesigning a feature or doing a quick fix of something, or working on copywriting or visual polish? When you have this information, you can use it to name your branch and you can include all of this context in your branch summary. Creating the actual branch and working on the files is when you transition into the develop and deliver half of the design process. To create a new branch, first jump into a project that you want to work in. Let's go to our banking app example. Let's say that I've gotten feedback from my product team that we're losing a lot of users during the sign-in process, so I've been asked to update the designs. Once I've done some discovery to uncover the pain points and define what the true problem is, I'm ready to get to work on the designs. In Abstract, I'll go ahead and click the New Branch button, and I'll decide what the branch should be named. I've already done my discovery, so I know that the context and desired outcome of the work is to reduce drop-off during sign-in, and since the designs already exist, I'll probably be doing some kind of redesign, which is a substantial amount of work. With all of this in mind, I'll give my branch a name like Redesign Improve Sign-In Flow. This is a good branch name because it is task-based. It uses a prefix to indicate what type of work I'll be doing and a short description so that everyone knows what files I'll be working on and what my intent is. If there were a ticket number, I could also include that in my branch title. Here are a few examples of good branch names. You can see that they're all descriptive yet concise, and they focus on the job that's being done rather than the name of the designer, date of the change, or version that's being worked on. Abstract keeps track of those details for you, so you can skip them and get to what's important. The last thing I'll do before I actually get started on my design work is to include all of that discovery and problem definition work I did earlier in the branch summary. Every branch has a branch summary area that supports markdown, so you can write in or link out to any documentation that adds to the context of your work. In this example, I've added a short, generalized summary of the context, problem statement, and goals of the work I'll be doing in this branch. I've also added links to the project charter, research results, and the JIRA ticket where the progress is being tracked. So to review, a branch is a space that has a copy of the files for you to work on. Click the new branch button to start a branch whenever you have a new task or design project to complete. It doesn't matter how small or large the effort or how many branches you already have open. Each unique stream of work should have its own branch. Give your branch a good title by including a short description of what you'll be working on and add more context by filling in the branch summary.